Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my studio. Happy Sunday. It's Maria. And today I thought I would share with you how to make this cute little teddy bear getting an x-ray. And on the back of the teddy bear, I just did a very simple stethoscope. So I'm ready to go. Let's go. So to start off with our colors today, I have a rod of periwinkle for the background because why not? I like periwinkle. <laughs> and then I have a little skinny rod of light brown. I have a thick stringer of black for the x-ray background. I pulled a very, very thin stringer of ivory for his little chest bones. And then for the stethoscope, I have, um, I think this is a sage, a little skinny stringer of sage. And then of course I have some stringers of black, little skinny ones. And I think that's it. White for the googly eyes. And that's all you need. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we go. Um, I went ahead and I made my periwinkle base. It was just seven wraps of periwinkle across by two wraps high. And then I crunched it in my standard crunch and just kind of shaped it up a bit with my press. So we have a nice base to, um, to start with. I know you guys have seen me do that like a gazillion times, so I wanted to spare you. Making the bases are always so boring. I just want to get to the decorating. So here we go. Um, I have my black stringer, and I am just going to make a square right in the center of the bead. And this is the little x-ray screen that he's going to be holding. And for right now, just try to draw a square with that molten glass and then fill it in. We're just getting glass down. Got to get your material down before you can start sculpting. So oh, that might be good. That might not. Let's press it out and see. Okay, I'm just shaping the glass into kind of a square. <laughs> Let's straighten up the sides a bit. There we go. That's kind of looking like a square. Straighten up that side. I don't know why I seem to think that x-ray screens are square, but it makes sense to me, right? Now I usually start when I'm shaping, I'll start with my press and then I'll move on if I need to with my dental tool to do some of the finer shaping. So whatever works for you guys, you guys use whatever tools that you feel comfortable with and makes whatever shapes that you feel happy with. And I am happy with that. So now I am going to get my ivory stringer and we're gonna put his little bones in, his little ribs. And all that is, is I take my ivory stringer and I'm gonna put one stripe down the center, kind of the center, and then one stripe across, and then one rib in the center of his rib cage, and then another rib kind of at the bottom of the rib cage. There we go. And there's his little ribs. And let's go ahead and push in those, those little stringers a bit, especially the nibby parts at each end. Uh, his rib cage is a little lopsided, but that's all right. He's a teddy bear. He doesn't have to be anatomically correct. All right, so now I've got my light brown glass, and I'm going to get a gather, and we're going to put on his head. His little head at the top, a nice little blob of glass, just like that. And again, I'm going to take my press and press down and make him a little head or a big head as the case may be there we go that looks like a head um let's put on some ears i'm gonna put his little ears i think i'm gonna put the ears on the sides one ear there and one ear there 
And then I am going to take my ball stylus and I'm just going to shape his little ears, put a little indentation in that ear so it sticks out a bit. Same on the other side. Whoops, and I'm turning my torch on, off. There we go. <laughs> Cute. He's got little ears that stick out. All right, let's do the windows to the soul. One eyeball there. One eyeball there. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, it broke. A piece broke off. But that's all right because it's glass and you can just melt it back into shape. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> Happy accidents. All right. Let's go ahead and press his googly eyes down. I guess it's always important to remember to keep that bead warm. And I didn't do that this time. All right. So now the little pupils go into each of his eyes. One there. One in the other. And I'm going to give him a little nose right in the center of those two eyes. Nice, cute. All right, we'll go ahead and smash those down. Give his nose a little smash. <sighs> he can see. All right, let's go ahead and put on his little legs and hands and paws. Those are really easy. His little paw is holding up his x-ray on one side and holding up the x-ray on the other side. And then we're going to give him his little legs. Push down, drag, pull up. <laughs> there you go. And I'm going to give him a little extra here and just put on some little fingers with my X-Acto knife. Just like that. So it looks like he's actually holding that x-ray. Just two little cuts on his little paws. And there's your teddy bear. All right, let's go ahead and put on that stethoscope on the back. And I know I grabbed that sage, but of course, I'm changing my mind. I think I'm going to do gray. So I have a thick stringer of gray right here. And we are just going to draw a U. Just like that. Just a little U. That's the hearing part of the stethoscope. And then I'm going to take my thin black stringer and I'm going to just make the hose part coming around. Maybe you want to do a loop-de-loop -loop in it. <laughs> coming up just like that. And since I got the black here, I'm going to put on the earbuds right at the tip of that U. There we go. Let's press everything a little flat. I'm a big press it flat kind of girl. And now I've got just a light gray and I'm gonna put a little blob right at the end of that hose. That's the part that goes on your heart. Press it down and then we'll stack it with another little black dot right at the top here. And there you go, there's your stethoscope. There's your teddy bear. Oh, he's cute. I hope you guys like it. I hope you have fun. Have a great Sunday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.